Greg Urbis, I want to congratulate you on Coach, I know you don't, you're not big on keeping track of records, but how many state titles have the St. Edward Eagles won now in the big school division in Ohio? 32 and then uh, two others in the dual meet, so 34 titles, uh, team titles. You've won the tournament how, 32 times? 32 and then uh, two duels, 32 times, uh, 34 34 total. with the two duels. Yeah. Coach, I think a lot of people left St. Edward for dead three years ago when, when uh, Campbell was a freshman. I just talked to him about it, your 220 pounder. And, and, you know, that guy was in on the, you know, the, I said the valley of St. Edward wrestling. He leads the reemergence. You're one of the top five teams in the country. You never shy away from competition. How do you do it? How do you resurrect something that a lot of people left for dead? Jeez. A lot of, I, there's a lot, man, but I got to know, Coach. Come on. Well, first of all, we didn't feel that bad the way you painted it there. Uh, I didn't think we were left for dead or anything else. Um, well, a lot of haters said that. Well, the, the, a lot of haters say a lot of things, but uh, we knew that with, with the work ethic and the tremendous coach that we have at St. Ed's, Coach Heffernan and Gonzer and, and uh, Gon, Gonzer and Seiko, I mean, tremendous. Frank Jane and Mark Jane, got great coaches over there. Uh, the kids, they rose to the challenge again. Uh, they get great coaching over there. We could put together a tough schedule, and the kids responded to it. So it's pretty neat. I, I tell you what, it's real neat. You know, talking to you, you're the consummate positive guy. You're also, as Jeremy Orson used to say, he worries about St. Edward wrestling a lot. Yeah. Okay, you're the worrier, but you're the positive guy at the same time. How much longer, and this is the question, you know, for you, how much longer can you do this, Coach? You've been at this since Ferguson. It's the kids. It's the kids that are doing it. It's, it's, it's not hard for me. It's hard for the kids. And uh, I, my hat's off to them. They won two state titles in, uh, in less than a month. Jeez. I mean, that's pretty awesome. A lot of kids contributed. So, Where does Greg Urbis's passion, the fire, the desire come from to, to, to be at the helm of the ship? St. Edwards also uh, teach. It's all about the kids. I'm amazed at the sport. I'm amazed. I coach uh, freshman football as well. That's a tremendous sport. Wrestling's an unbelievable sport also. It's just amazing the life lessons that the sport can teach you. And if they take that into life, whether in, uh, in college and in their work field and in their marriage a whole bit, about working hard and putting others first and just great life lessons in the sport. It's an awesome sport. Campbell said that you guys prepare guys for the next level, whether it's school, whether it's job, whether it's life. He said St. Edward's not just about wrestling, it's about preparing guys for the next level and, and for the next step of life. Would you agree that he's gotten the most out of your program and, and, and what you beyond the sport of wrestling? Yeah, I believe he has. Uh, he's got a great set of parents that uh, support him totally. And that's big in our in our program. Our parents support our kids tremendously. They support our coaching staff. And we're just really, we feel very fortunate to have the situation we have. Do you think Howard Ferguson's proud of you guys and, and what you've done, what Ed's been, have, have become and the legacy you've carried on? Yeah, I think he's smiling when he takes a look at the practices. And he would love every bit of it. Love every bit of the work ethic that's involved. It's John Heffernan, the best coach in the country. Yes. No, no, listen, anyone yeah. I've ever asked, yes. that guy is a freak. He's amazing. He knows more about the sport of wrestling, training champions, and, and probably pulling people out of burning buildings as a fireman, too. Yes. But that guy is, he's a freak. He's unbelievable. He's unbelievable. Puts the kids first and uh, doesn't want a pat on the back. He's very, very humble. He's awesome and he's humble. He's the heart and soul of St. Edward Wrestling. I've asked the guy for interviews before, and he's like, what are you talking about? Why would anyone want to talk to me? Yeah, because he, he's humble. And the family. And he's the, done. the family's it's the foundation, too. It's an unbelievable thing. Ryan Harper is your first sure. champ. exactly. And he's humble as anybody. Are you still loving this? Are you still, is this still like in the late 80s, 90s when you, you took it over? Is this, are you still Every year is a new year. You just watch these kids work their tails off at practice and re, and get great uh, coaching and accept the coaching. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. Coach, it's always great to talk to you. Do you have anything else for me? I just want to thank you for covering wrestling again. I think you're phenomenal. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Yeah. Congratulations on another title. I hope you guys find or have to build another trophy case. Thank you, Coach. Thank you, sir.